Peace. My name is Haven Bullets, and I've been away for a couple of days. I know I haven't been feeling good. I'm just trying to make a whole bunch of videos and just periodically upload them because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to actually address stuff live anymore, like when it happens. But Yvette Carnell, is this why you block me? Because as you can see, family, she blocked me on Twitter, and it's like, Dag, I thought you just said people who black block people on Twitter and don't want to have a discussion are weak and stupid and all this other stuff, and that's a sign of defeat. But you just blocked me. I just seen this. I wasn't even aware of it, but I just like happened to go on Twitter today, and I seen this. You block. I'm locked. And it's all good. It's all good. I know why you blocked me because I'm getting to you for the for the same reason. Um, you flag my channel because you don't want people to see stuff like this. I don't think people understand like. And not just Antonio, me, the Breaking Brown community, all the work that was done, all the emails that have been sent, all the conversations that have been had, all the relationships, all the arms twisted. I don't think anybody understands, you know, who is saying this stuff, that these are not just videos. If Africa is in your, if Africa is in your acronym, your project is not my project. My project is an American project because I understand that the minute we stepped onto this soil, we became American. Whether I don't care how you feel about it, once your feet, your ancestors' feet hit this land and nobody came for you, we became American. And we proceeded to build this country with free labor. I'm not going to go back and claim nothing else. I know. I know you're getting mad because I'm exposing you. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this whole. I'm a single hand. I'm not gonna say. I don't want to say single handedly, but I'm gonna break this movement into like 80 million pieces. Cause I, like I said before, I was trying to call in, and I know I wasn't bugging. Cause I was typing in the chat room, asking for the com, asking for the number. For some reason, I couldn't get the number, and I'm like, I'm trying to call in. Why? Why can't I get through? What's going on? Now, now, now it's making sense. Now it's making sense because I'm going to try to call in again. You got my number because, you know, I'm fighting the back against you striking my channel. So I had to give my number and stuff. But I got something for you. Don't worry. I'm going to keep fighting because as you can see, family right here, you see Yvette Carnell. This is a, 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 um, a screenshot somebody sent me. But as you can see, this is Yvette Carnell talking about reparations 2020 and all this other stuff. Cut the check reparations 2020. She got it. She's using this hashtag a bunch of times but as you can see right here family in this clip i'm about to show you and this is another reason why she's trying to flag me and get me down yvette carnell doesn't believe in reparations she's not fighting for reparations she's even going to say out her own mouth that we don't even know enough to even ask for reparations but somehow some way she's tweeting reparations 2020 and the reason she's doing that is because you know, she got a bunch of useful is to get you dumb motherfuckers who think ADOS, the ADOS fuckboy movement is about reparations, which is not. Which is not. It has nothing to do with reparations. Nothing. But anyway, family, I'm going to continue on doing what I do. I'm going to run you through the mud, Yvette. You cannot hide from me. You can block me on Twitter. I can always make a new Twitter account. People, I'm going to get this truth out. I'm going to get this truth out because you scared of me. You scared just like all everybody else scared because you know I know what time it is. I'm not none of these dick niggas dick riding from the east side. I know what this movement is really about. I know you don't give a fuck about reparations. I know you know that's an impossible task. I know you just trying to help Trump win. Because you feel that Trump could help be better get your agenda across. Your anti-black immigrant agenda, which is the real reason you started the ADOS movement. And anybody who's been around since day one knows that. Yvette wasn't talking about no damn reparations. Yvette wasn't talking about no other group. You could add up how many times Yvette mentioned other groups by name on on the last two plus years on your fingers, and, um, counted up on your fingers and toes and still have fingers and toes left. Well, anyway, family. I'm going to end this video right here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you think. I want you to 
go out and watch this clip. I'm going to let it play of Yvette saying in her own words that she doesn't believe in reparations and it's bullshit while she's constantly using the hashtag knowing damn well when people see that hashtag reparations 2020 they talking about a check they not talking about just a check but we know everybody's talking about a check and I'm in this video right here like share subscribe drop me a comment and what you think um reach me something family Reach me a like, reach me a share, all that good stuff. And on that note, family, peace. With this is what people don't understand is my family comes from Trinidad, right? Uh, my dad died. Trinidad had slavery ended in eighteen thirty three. That is two hundred years of freedom. That that's a totally different mindset. That's that is not having uh uh Jim Crow, that's not having anybody try to lynch you. That is being in a country where you're not black, you are just a person. Mm -hmm. That is a totally different mindset. My grandmother always talks to me about the fact that when she came here, she was like, wow, what's the deal with these black people? This is America opportunity. She said, but once you live here and you get to see the sort of the witchcraft that they do, your whole understanding about what it is to be black. Is, is, is totally different, right? So, you know, when I, when I look at all of this, and, um, and I'm trying to figure out, well, you know, with, with what you're doing with the whole reparations piece, mm -hmm. like, um, when, when the reparations come to a fruition, and I see this as a reality, what does that reparate, what, how is that going to be implemented? Do you, do you see, like, organizations doing that? Do you see direct payment? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. You. Do you see the what? I'm sorry. You. You. you when you. Do I see the what? What you say? This reparations is a reality. How is that going to be? How is that going to be given out no. to the people? Is it through organizations? No. I mean, is it I, direct payment. Here's the thing. I've talked. I've talked about. I've talked about before how reparations has to be a multi-pronged policy, and it has to be multi-generational. You can't just give checks out. Like no. This like this is 400 years. I like it. Like one of the things that I've always said. Is that a wound takes longer to heal than it takes to cut, right? That's something that I've always said. So, like, like this has to be a multi generational reparations plan. I don't care whether you put in a trust fund. You also have to make us have credits available to go to college because the wealth we don't have. You, are, there's a lot. We need lineage therapy. But to the the thing is, the first thing that we have to understand is that we don't know enough. It's kind of like what Antonio said. We have to let other people, like Darity and other people, decide like what that number looks like. And then we can decide who, how it's instituted. But one of the things that I'm not going to do is like when this country, when this country approves reparations, like then I will get in there and talk about how I think this should look. But if you haven't approved it, one of the things that I see happening is people trying to say, well, what is going to be? So that they can so that they can hamstring it. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that at all. I can talk to you about that and put in place what I think it should be after you pass some legislation for it. After you say, after this country shows me that it has a will to institute reparations, then I will get on the board and tell you what I think it should be. I have a, I've expressed some very firm ideas on this show and I have some very firm ideas about what I think reparations should look like. But I'm not going to do that until this country has shown me a will for it because i know this country will use that to be like well that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work no it just means you don't give a damn okay so how do we uh, i'm just afraid it'd be another situation like when they had the freedmen's bill and somebody ran off with the money well i know like we're not talking about just a check like understand that what happened to us requires way more than a check like it requires so much more than like money it requires credits it requires like opportunity in terms of affirmative action that keeps that door open like did, i don't think people understand how complex any kind of reparations distribution would be there's no way to do this in terms of just giving us money she charged a small fee for he to hear me rap ask your girlfriend if she want a pennies back Kill tough niggas with kindness, kind niggas with balance, and loud mouth niggas with silence. Tell my old bitch, I don't give a fuck, she can swallow up 12 inch knife, you the whole shit.